my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wear. Sure hope everybody's doing okay today. I want to talk a little bit today about just things in general. I don't want to try to get too philosophical or anything like that. Um, just some thoughts going through my head. Um, when I, in the winter time, in the winter time, things begin to show up that don't show up in the summertime. For example, all these scars on my arms. All these scars start to show up in the winter time that you can't see in the summertime because they're not there. They're nice. I have a nice tan, and the scars aren't there. But in the winter time, as I'm wearing long sleeve shirts and I'm not getting as much sun, the scars start to show up. And I used to get really depressed. And I used to think, you know, all these scars just make me ugly. And I've learned some things over the past three years having my dentures that have really opened me up to looking at things in a different manner. Um, when I first got my dentures, my automatic assumption was everybody's going to look down on me because I got a bunch of plastic in my mouth. Because I could tell from looking at people if they were wearing dentures. I could tell by the way they ate. I could tell by the way they talked. I could tell by the way they moved their mouths. I could tell, you know, little telltale signs that someone is wearing dentures. Another thing I noticed was that dentures, I could always tell someone was wearing dentures because they, their, their teeth looked fake. They didn't look like teeth to me. So all of that went through my head when I was about to get my dentures. And when I first got my dentures, um, looking in the mirror, I knew they were fake. I knew they weren't real. I knew they were fake. So I assumed everybody out there was going to know I had fake teeth. And it wasn't until... I started going out into public and talking to people and things like that and somebody complimented me on my teeth. They were like, wow, you got a beautiful smile. I was like, thank you. I appreciate that. I didn't say, oh, thanks, they're dentures. I just thanked them for the compliment. And it made me feel good to know that somebody complimented me on my teeth after having rotten mouth and rotten teeth for over 20 years and hiding them like this all the time because I had such a rotten mouth. It was the first time in my life anybody had ever complimented my smile. And it made me feel really good. And, or the first time in my life that I can remember somebody complimenting my smile, put it that way. And it made me feel really good. And when I went home that night, and I was looking in the mirror, and I was checking myself out in the mirror, I started to realize that dentures don't look like they used to. Dentures look more and more real, a lot more real, than they did 20 years ago, 30 years ago. And the next morning when I put my teeth in, I looked at myself again. And I started accepting that my teeth looked very good. They looked real to me. And it gave me a confidence boost. So when I started looking at myself and realizing that when other people see me, they don't see dentures. 
They don't see a mouthful of rotten teeth. They just see me. And that made me start looking at other things in a different light. Um, when the scars start showing up on my arms in the wintertime, people don't look and see the scars. They see the scars of hard work. They see all the years of climbing trees for a living. And I've had people ask me before, what are all the scars from? And I tell them, well, I was an arborist for 35 years. And they go, oh, oh, that's hard work. Yes, it is. And I have the scars to prove it. <laughs> and it started making me see my scars in a new light. And um, the scars on my shoulders from carrying great big chunks of you know, great big logs on my shoulders all the time. The scars up here on my shoulders from carrying big chunks of wood all the time made me start seeing things in a new light. Um, those aren't scars from, from just playing. Those are scars from hard work, hard physical labor, and accomplishments that I've made in my life. Every scar on my body is an accomplishment. Every scar on my body is from doing something. The scars on my gums and in, inside my mouth are from accomplishing something. I had the biggest fear of dentists. I had the almost panic attacks. Just the thought of going to a dentist would give me almost a panic attack. And the final straw for me was I was sitting at my table and I was trying to eat a steak and it was so hard to chew that steak because my teeth hurt so bad that I couldn't even enjoy a steak and I got so frustrated and so aggravated that I, it was time to do something. I determined right then and there, this is bullshit. I'm going to do something about this. And when I went to the dentist the first time for my consultation, I got in a chair and I told him, he pulled over his little tray with all his little tools on it, and I said, if you poke one of my teeth with one of those metal things, you're going to see hell like you've never seen before because I'm already in enough pain. The last thing I need is you poking around in my mouth and stabbing my teeth with those metal things. And he looked at me and he goes, you have a serious fear of the dentist, don't you? I said, yes. It stems from when I was a child. I was tortured in a dentist chair as a child and I hate dentists. And I told him that to his face. I hate dentists. And he looks at me and he says, well, he says, just relax for a minute. Let's see what we've got going on in here. <clears throat> so, you know, makes me open my mouth. Ah. And he says, I'm going to put the mirror in there. I'm going to try not to hit any of your teeth with it. And he puts the mirror in my mouth and he's looking around. And he says, you know, I don't even need a tool. He says, all these got to go. And he says, and you're probably going to have rot in the bone itself that we're going to have to shave. And I said, okay, so what do we do now? And he says, make an appointment. I'll do the extractions. Um, and we'll get you some dentures. So my immediate thought was, at least I'll have that shit out of my mouth and I won't be in pain all the time. So that was my immediate thought. I thought, I've seen people without teeth that can eat hamburgers and can eat steak. I've seen them at Golden Corral eating chicken and, and you know, all manner of foods. I thought, I, and my dad, my father, my real father, I grew up in a foster home, so my biological father didn't have teeth, and I seen him eat all manner of stuff without his teeth. So that was my initial, initial thought was, yeah, let's get this out of my mouth. At least I won't have a toothache ever again. And so we discussed the issues of getting the teeth out of my mouth, and possibly shaving the jawbones if they needed to be. And 
it came to the denture part of the talk, the conversation, and we talked about that, and I said, you know, I don't want immediate dentures. Um, my brother waited like eight or 12 weeks before he got his dentures, and he's been fine with them for over 20 years. So the doctor says, that's fine, let's, let's work on that. Then he made an appointment for me to come in for my impressions. He called me with an appointment. The office called me with an appointment. So I went in and I said, well, if I'm waiting eight or 12 weeks, can't we do the impressions later? He says, your insurance won't pay for dentures if you don't get the immediate dentures. He said, we've already contacted the insurance company They've approved everything, but they won't pay for dentures unless you get the immediate dentures. They want it paid for all at once. And that disturbed me, but I didn't have a choice. And I was thinking to myself, it's pretty sad when insurance companies make the rules for the dentists and the doctors. The insurance company sets the rules. If the dentist wants paid, he's got to do what the insurance company tells him to do. I couldn't afford 3500 bucks for dentures. I had no choice but to get my dentures, immediate dentures. Now, two things I could have done. I could have got the immediate dentures, took them home, put them in a cup, and just not wore them for 8 or 12 weeks. And I considered doing that. But then I turned around and I thought, you know what? I've got these tools right here that I might as well learn how to use. So I kept them in and I went through the frustration and the aggravation and the torment and the torture and the pain and everything else that went with immediate dentures and I learned how to function with them. And my dentures taught me a lot about my own willpower, my ability to accept things that aren't normal my ability to struggle through the pains and the mental frustrations and the aggravations. And I'm very thankful for my dentures. I am very thankful for a lot of things in my life. I'm thankful to all of you who are part of this channel that keep me going, that give me a reason to keep going, that give me a reason to do these videos and to try to find more things to teach you. Um, I'm very thankful for all the comments. I'm very thankful for all the love. Um, I'm very, very thankful for my dentures. My dentures have given me something my natural teeth never could. They gave me the ability to smile. They gave me the ability to eat. They gave me the ability to uh, live a normal life, not hide from people. They gave me the ability to uh, be a part of society and not be ashamed of who I am. They gave me ability to look at my scars in a different light, in a different manner than what I used to. They gave me the ability to handle the cold weather without having a toothache. I can go out and breathe in the cold air and not have a toothache. I can eat ice cream. I can drink hot things. I can drink cold things. I can eat hot things and cold things. I don't have toothaches. I don't have that tooth pain. My dentures have taken away as much as they've ever given me. They've given me the ability to eat. They've taken away the pain from eating. They've given me the ability to smile. They've taken away the the need to hide my teeth. They've given me the ability to uh, function in public and they've taken away that embarrassment of those rotten, nasty teeth I had. They've given me just as much as they've taken away from me. I love my dentures and I'm happy to have them. And when you start looking at the benefits of dentures, start looking at what the dentures are taking away as well. Don't just look at them like they're a prosthetic that you put in your mouth so that you can eat or smile. 
Look at what they've taken from you. Look at what your dentures have removed from your life. My dentures have removed the frustration and aggravation of having toothaches every day. They've removed the headaches that I used to have because of my bad teeth. They've removed all the rot from my jaws and my mouth. It's removed all the poison from my body that stemmed from all that rot. My dentures have removed my insecurity of being able to talk and sing and, and just be a normal person. They have removed my, um, I already said insecurities, didn't I? <laughs> my dentures have removed as much from my life as they've given me. So when you start thinking about it in that manner, and you start looking at the positives, and look at the negatives that the dentures take away as well, and be thankful for what you have. I'm thankful for all of you. I'm thankful for this channel. I'm thankful for all the wonderful comments. I'm thankful for all the likes and dislikes. I'm thankful for my dentures. I'm thankful for the dentist that did this for me. I am thankful for my brother allowing me to move in here into his beautiful house and uh, live with him. I am thankful for my brother giving me the truck that he gave me. Um, now, he said I earned it with all the hard work I've, I helped him do in the shop and everything else, and I'm grateful for that. Um, I am thankful for many things in my life. So this Thanksgiving, I want you to concentrate on the things that you're thankful for and try to avoid the negatives. Try to avoid the if you haven't got your dentures yet and you're in the plans of getting dentures, be thankful for that. Uh, be thankful that you have something to look forward to. If you've already got your dentures and you're struggling with learning how to eat and function and maybe you won't be able to eat turkey on Thanksgiving, but be thankful that you can be present with your family and friends. Be thankful that you can smile. Be thankful that you have the opportunity to try to eat some turkey and know that by this time next year you'll be devouring that turkey like it was nobody's business. Be thankful that you have this time. Be thankful that you have the ability to learn. I hope everybody has a fantastic Thanksgiving if I don't see you between now and then. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. Keep smiling, keep trying, and please 